what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your girl jay and i'm back with another video yeah you read the title you see the thumbnail y'all already know what's up i look a mess a hot mess y'all y'all see my little ponytail i got on my swats hat this is from a halloween outfit but i'm having a really bad hair day so i just threw this on but anywho, it is, what time is it? I don't even have my watch on. It's like 9.30 in the morning. And I am about to head to pick up my keys for my brand new shop that I'm going to be opening up. It's going to be Pretty Labels, the beauty house. It's actually going to be a actual boutique. So I am in the process of changing my e-commerce store here go my niece y'all she's so aggy what she ready to talk but anywho i'm in the process of changing my e-commerce boutique to an actual store so i have both online and in local store in my hometown i'm very very excited so yeah i'm about to go pick up my keys um, I kind of keep you guys updated, do a little cute little tour of it. It's very, you know, small and cute, but it's just going to be so perfect for me and my vision. So, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'll check back in with you guys so you guys can come along with the process. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jay. Yeah, I'm back. Um, so, it's, it's I'm really, really hot. I don't know where y'all at, but we in Florida and it is 87 degrees. It's hot as shit right now. I didn't mean to cuss like that, but it's just so hot here. Anyways, I'm on my way to Home Depot. I'm about to get some paint. Um, I've already picked up my keys. I was going to give y'all like a little um, walk through, which I am. I'm going to do it once. Actually, I'm on my way back there. I changed my outfit into something very comfortable because I'm getting ready to go and be a painter. But no, um, yes, yeah, so I went to Home Depot to find me a um, some paint, which I did. I found a cute little color. I'll probably show y'all like the color scheme of it later because I'm drawing right now. But yeah, I'm very, very happy and just excited because y'all, anybody who knows me knows that I really take entrepreneurship so serious. Um, it's been my dream to, to be a boss. It's been my very dream to be um, a full-time boss. And I'm finally able to live out my dreams, my manifestations. Everything that I have spoken and prayed for, God is just delivering it right before my eyes. It's in real time. God's perfect timing. So I'm very, very happy. But yeah, so once I leave, I'm actually pulling up to Home Depot right now. So once I leave Home Depot, I'll, um, I'll get back with you guys. I'll take you guys to the shop. When I get to the shop, I actually do like a little run through and kind of just give you guys, um, you know, like a, so y'all can see like what my little shop looks like. So cute. And then it'll be like a before. So I can show y'all like the after as well. Like once I finish, because I have like this big vision for it and it's going to be so cute. I can I already know. But yeah, so I hit you guys back when I leave out of Home Depot. <sighs> What's up, y'all? Your girl look a mess, don't trust me. But anywho, so I finally made it back to the shop and I'm here and um, got my sister and my niece with me. We're just sitting over there. But anywho, I went to Home Depot and I got some stuff. I got like some paint, y'all see the paint? Some paint and stuff. Um, I got some, the blue tape, I got some Little stuff to go down on the floor so that we can start painting. Um, which, and I'm gonna show y'all just a little kind of look overview of the shop. So, the shop layout is really, really cute to me. I, I fell in love with the layout because I just seen a vision when I seen it. But, anywho, this is the bathroom. I put down, I uh, also went to the dollar store and I got like a lot of cleaning stuff so that I can clean the shop up. So, this is the, this, what you see on there is cleaning stuff. It's not nothing, it's just cleaning stuff. But yeah, this is the bathroom. So it's really, you know, just cute. And it has a window. Yeah, oh yeah, I need to open this because it's like really, really um like strong and stuff. So yeah, so it's 
so I have this the bathroom. It's cute. It's gonna be something I'm gonna really, you know, actually fix it up as if it's the bathroom, like a cute bathroom. This ain't gonna be just no regular <laughs> public restroom. I'm fixing my shit up. <laughs> I'm just like, no, like so that's the bathroom. And then I have like this little room. When I initially seen this building, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut off the bathroom for the public and just strictly make it um make this like a cute little office area. But I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna keep the bathroom for the public and just kind of probably make this like a little storage room because it's very little. It's just it's just very little and cute, but it's something. And then out here is um this is like gonna be like this is like the front area. So so this is the front area. <laughs> Look at bubbles. So this is gonna be the front area. I got all my stuff down there, don't mind it. But I don't know what I'm gonna actually do with this area yet. I kinda think that I wanna see kinda think that I wanna make it like um the area where like my cash register is gonna be and like a cute little setup, like kinda like not really a picture booth, but something cute in that in that sense. I don't know yet. I, I'm still debating on what I wanna do. I had a vision of what I wanna do, but I just have to now I have to execute it. So, you know, that's the hardest part, actually getting everything that you see, um, the vision that you see actually making it come to life. So that's the hardest part. So so that area is gonna be cute. And then this area here, this is like the, my light, is it focused? Okay. This area here is, this is like the biggest area. You see how it's set up? So, let me flip it around so yeah. So it's like that half over there and then it's this half. So, yeah, and then it has like two little entrance doors, away, which I'm gonna probably take those doors off of the hinges so it can be just kind of like a walkway there, just like a cute little walkway. Yeah, I'm gonna probably take those doors off the hinges so it can be like just a cute little walkway right there. And that is that. And then here I'm gonna set up like, this is gonna be where everything is actually gonna be like all of the inventory, everything that's gonna be on this. The, the, um, like in the showroom on the floor, it's gonna be all in here. So, right now, what I'm doing is, um, I'm, I just got the keys this morning, so I am about to start painting. Um, I really like this shop, I like it the location because the area that I stay in is kind of like a lot of traffic goes on. There's like a nail shop across the way and there's um, like a big plaza of a school and it's all of these different things and it is kind of like a area where a lot of people, you know, they're walking by and then there's a hair salon next door and there's a barbershop on the next, you know, right next door and then there's also like this, it's so dark right now. There's also like a CNA school next door. So it's gonna be like a lot of traffic and it's gonna bring in a lot of clientele. So I really like this area too. Um, it's like a neighborhood behind it. So I think it's gonna be very, very good. I'm very excited to, to just put everything, my, make my vision come true. It's, I keep going dark, y'all. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be but, but yeah, I'm so excited. Y'all, I look a mess, I know, but I really been grinding this whole week. Like, I ain't care about nothing. I part of my nails, everything. Like, I ain't been studying nothing but getting the keys to my shop. So that's why I look like this. I'm probably gonna look like this for about another two weeks. Um, because now I got a pop-up shop coming up in two weeks that I'm gonna be doing. So now, um, on top of getting my shop together for the grand opening, I'm preparing for the pop-up shop and then, you know, so right now, I'm just angry about looking cute. But yeah, so I'm very excited about doing this. We're about to paint. I got some really, really cute pink paint. It's kind of like a rose goldish blushes pink color, which is gonna be the color of my new logo. I'm getting everything revamped, um, preparing to pretty much lunch. We're gonna relaunch it. It's gonna be kind of like a whole nother relaunch. Just, you know, pretty late just moving into a boutique. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, we about to get started on painting. Um, I would kind of like set it up and so y'all can see me painting and stuff, but my camera is about to go dead. So 
Um, I gotta put it. I don't even think I brought my battery charger. I brought the bag, but I don't even think my battery charger is in there. But I'm gonna see. So, um, yeah. Um, maybe I can set it on my phone. I'm gonna update my phone and go there. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be like little inserts because I might put it on inserts and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along on this journey from now up until we get my keys up until I actually open it up and launch it. But anywho, oh my goodness, I totally forgot that I dropped a new video today. I forgot, so I gotta go promote that too because I forgot with everything going on. I forgot. Yeah, I got a 50% go still going on right now that's going bonkers. I have the new YouTube video that I dropped and then um, I'm trying to get my shop together. So yeah. Anywho, thank y'all so much for y'all love and y'all support. Y'all see my SWAT hat. I got this. <laughs> this is part of my Halloween outfit, but yeah, whatever. I'm rocking it because I'm having a bad hair day. Anywho, thank y'all so much for y'all love and y'all support. I cannot wait to show you guys what I do with this shop. How I transform it. I'm so excited. Um, this is only the beginning, y'all. It's only the beginning. We going up. <laughs> New items dropping. Everything, y'all. It's, it's going to be lit. So just stay tuned. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Y'all make sure y'all like y'all. Make sure y'all see y'all friends. Hey, tell them what's up. Shop prettylabels.com. www.prettylabels.com. All that. But yeah, I'm gonna check back clean with y'all when I finish painting. What is up everybody? I'm back. And today is day three of building, what I wanna call this? Getting pretty labels ready for the grand opening. So I guess it's gonna be like building pretty labels or whatever. But everybody say hey to my YouTube. Hey YouTube. I got my sisters and my cousin and my nieces here. We painted in two days, really less than two days, wasn't it? It's, it was like a day and a half. Cause we was like here for like eight hours yesterday painting. And then like five hours the day before. But I'm gonna show y'all, we is done painting. Look how good it looks. Why it looks so dark? Okay, there you go. Do y'all see how good we did? I'm putting this on my resume. Period. <laughs> we painted this, y'all, and it looks so amazing. This is amazing. I'm so proud of us. Like, we really painted this, y'all. And it looks so good, doesn't it? It looks so freaking good. So, these are the two rooms that we painted. So. Now that painting is done, the next thing we're going to do, which we can't, we just got here, and um, we about to clean up everything. Um, I gotta get some touch up paint because like on the floorboards, some of the tape kind of peeled the, um, the paint off. It probably was like cheap paint they had on there. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna, we gonna touch it up. I'm gonna probably do it tomorrow because, what? Oh, I know I broke it, but I'm, I'm gonna still use it. I'm gonna just take that that thing guy. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, that lightning did good thing open up those windows. But anywho, tomorrow, I was supposed to go to Home Depot today to get paint, but I forgot. So I'm gonna get up in the morning and do that. That'll be one of the things I have to do in the morning. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm about to clean up everything. I just went about a lot of cleaning stuff, more cleaning stuff. So I am about to bleach and lifestyle everything down i'm gonna mop the floors so next week my stuff will start coming in my furniture um everything will start coming in so we can start putting up stuff um i'm still kind of indecisive on exactly how i want everything set up as far as like if i want the racks on the wall or if i want the actual floor stands i don't really know yet but we got to make it happen it's about to get done it's Pretty labels is in a boutique, y'all. We, we doing this, but yeah. So I just wanted to update y'all on what we have going on today. So this is day three, and yeah, we got to clean up and you know, kind of just vibe and clean, vibe and clean. But yeah, we did such an amazing job on the shop, y'all. 
Yeah. It was blue at first, so. Okay, I think I did show y'all how hot what it looked like before we did it. So yeah, so, yeah I'll check in with y'all. So, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Jay, y'all. I know I've been stopped vlogging this whole journey like a long, long time ago. And I'm sorry because everything just got so hectic, y'all. I've been like literally stressed out. Today is like the first day in like 30 days that I have woke up like, let's get it. Like, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I've been so just everywhere, kind of like depressed. Let me tell y'all, today is a Monday. Today is Monday, what's today? Is it? March 29th. And Saturday, April 3rd is my grand opening. And today is Monday. So let me tell you how stressed out I am, but it's almost as if like, you know what? I don't even got nothing to worry about. I know God gonna make it happen. So I'm like four days away from my grand opening, like technically four days away because it's Saturday. And I literally, am still waiting on five shipments literally is it five four or five home students it's four shipments i'm sorry so i'm waiting on four shipments like literally four shipments that i'm waiting on and i've only gotten one shipment and they broke that one shipment into like two so i only got like 12 items on that shipment so and um okay Everybody knows, like, jewelry is my main thing that I do. So, I, I recently, you know, New Year converted to selling clothes because I want a beauty house. I want to have everything that a woman needs to, to feel beautiful about themselves. So, eventually, I'll, I'll do so many more things. But right now, my main thing is jewelry, which all of my jewelry came in fine. That's not the problem. All of my jewelry is in. All of my jewelry, like, we loaded on jewelry. But the clothing, like... I don't have any clothing. I don't have my shoes, purses, y'all. When I tell you I'm so stressed out, but it's almost like I just got to smile and be like, you know what? It's okay. Because I feel like even if I don't have the things, I can just, you know, start with what I got. And then as they come in, release them as new arrivals. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really too pressed about that. But I do want my clothes to be in because I have clothes, but it's not nothing that I, I want to, you know what I'm saying? put out there because i feel like i only i don't have everything that i that i ordered and i don't have you know what i'm saying everything but i'm not gonna let it bother me i'm, I'm more than confident i've been in contact with my vendors um they, they working over time to make sure i try to get it um so yeah but anywho yeah anywho so we like four days away from the grand opening i'm so excited y'all it's so nice in here and i'm gonna show you guys what i've been doing because by the time this video is released i'll actually have the grand opener will be already out and everybody will be able to see the grand opening saturday i want to have this video up by monday because i want to share with you guys the experience because everybody's a lot of people been writing me you know asking me questions about this process i know a lot of people is trying to do the very same thing that i'm doing and I just feel like, um, you know, I have a lot to tell you guys. I'm going to sit down. I might do another video, too, to tell you guys, like, exactly how everything went. But um, let me show you guys. So, and I, and I, this, I just got my phone because I love my camera. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't been blogging majority of this. Um, but I have my phone. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm going to kind of just show you guys. Y'all, excuse me, because, you know, we're still working on some of the things. But um, I'm going to kind of just show you guys. So here I have, I just forgot. Let me see. I don't want, I don't think this says anything. Okay. So this, my, um, I don't want you guys to see my serial number. But I just got my register in. It's a Clover, Clover Mini. So I just got this in, and it just came in just now. I just set this up. That's what I'm in the process of doing, setting it up. Let me show you guys some stuff that I've been working on. So I got this cute little thing, which I got more jewelry. I'm waiting for my packages from Amazon to come. I have like six packages from Amazon coming on Wednesday. But this is kind of some of the, just like, you know, the non customs let me go around here you guys can't probably see but listen this is just so cute i just feel like this is so cute 
and I have my eyelashes and then some Cuban links and then the necklaces. The whole theme was, I just fell in love with this stripe look. I don't know where it came from, but I seen it. Um, I actually seen it one day. I was in Hobby Lobby and I was looking for, I was actually decorating my living room and I seen the stripe look and I was like, oh, I like that. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do my business room this color, the stripes and the blush and the gold. But, and I started getting all of these little pictures and stuff. All of the pictures that you see, y'all, I've had these pictures for like six months because when I moved, it was gonna go in my office and voila, <laughs> look, it came together because it ended up being in my store. What a blessing. But anywho, so yeah, so I showed you guys all of these things before when I was coming, when it was coming along, but how cute did this turn out? This pillow, fun fact, I got this from the thrift store for two dollars. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, and then my greenery wall, I'm still waiting. I just literally wrote the lady like, hey, listen, where's my sign? Because it was supposed to have been shipped five days ago, but I still haven't received any tracking information, so I'm getting a little scared. But, so yeah, I got the LED sign coming there. This room, I'm gonna actually block it off because I'm gonna put my personal stuff in here, like office and stuff. Because what I think I'm gonna do is take everything, what the hell? I'm gonna take everything from my house as far as even like shipping and stuff. And I'm gonna bring it here and, you know, ship orders while I'm at work. So yeah. And then we have this cute little setup. All of my custom items, those are hand sanitizers down there. I'm actually probably gonna pull those up, but I just set them down there as that because i was going through stuff but um all of my custom items are gonna go here so i got one more necklace that i'm gonna put there the um drip harder chains um and then let me show you guys this is just so cute this turned out so cute i just love this whole idea i was gonna put like a decal for my logo but i don't really know if it's gonna be too much on this so i don't know i painted it you see like, i painted that in everything y'all y'all know like okay and then we got the tv up there um the tv on the sides of the tv i have some more letters coming in though they're like those little gold plates but they're gonna say pretty labels um i have like a um just a cute little picture i'm gonna get some letters to say ceo i have a cute little picture and then the kind of like my little mission statement that's on actually on the end of my website if you been on my website you'll see that it says like it has like a little mission statement underneath the ceo and i just printed it out, out and put it up there really cute so so far this is how everything is looking i had so much trouble with these um here these little racks because i'm gonna tell y'all i just thought it was gonna be so easy to just put them up on the wall drill them in and blah blah and eh, wrong so i had to have somebody actually come in and I think it turned out very cute. He he um, got these boards cut from Home Depot. He spray painted them and then he bolted them into the wall and bolted the thing on it. And I think that they turned out so cute. Um, Like I told y'all, I have some stuff, but it's like some stuff I've been had from the launch of it and some stuff is new. So we just kind of going along with that. That is gonna come out of here. So don't pay that no mind. We got this up here. The dressing room, it turned out so cute. Tell me this didn't turn out cute, y'all. What do y'all think? This was handmade. My cousin actually, she is so like creative, y'all. She came up with this and I was just like, because I had found like the little rack, um, the curved rack online. It was a dressing room frame for like 400. No, it wasn't 400, I'm, I'm lying. The things was 400. It was um like two something. And she was like, uh-uh, we ain't spending that on that. Let me think. So she thought of this and we went to Home Depot and the man cut all these poles. We spray painted them gold. We got the cute little curtains put up on them and voila. Baby, we got a dressing room. We got a dressing room. You know, I think this is gonna be so good. You come in, of course you're gonna, that's gonna close all the way. And then I feel like we got, we got a dressing room. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so then I just put these little cute little things up here because I was gonna put purses and shoes and stuff like that and I was gonna get a whole bunch of these, but for some reason these aren't, you see how they kind of like not sturdy? Mm -mm. I don't like that. So then the mirrors I got up. This is what I'm gonna actually use for shoes and um, 
for shoes and purses. I'm gonna put them in here. But I put the jeans in here because, again, when I was putting up the racks, the jeans was what was causing it to fall down. It was too heavy. And then of course we got this cute little area here, which once I'm done, those rugs right there are gonna go in the space, it's the openings here. So I think pretty much for the most part, Pretty Labels, the beauty house is done. We just gotta do a little bit cleaning up. I'm, I'm waiting on those two signs. I'm waiting on a couple of more things from Amazon. And then, you know, other than that, it's gonna be pretty much done. Um, yeah, so, this is pretty late. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> hey, y'all. I don't know why my camera is like so frizzy looking. I don't know what's going on. Anywho. It's not focusing right and stuff. Okay. Anywho, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay, and I am back with an update. Today is the motherfucking day. Ha! I'm just playing. Okay. Anywho, today is the day, y'all. It's the day. It's the day. It's the day. It's the day that I've been counting down. It's the day that I've been working so hard for. It's the day that I've been looking so ugly for. It's the day. Today is the day. It's the grand opening. <laughs> Hold on, let me set my camera up so y'all can see what is going on. Okay. So that is some other insight. Hold on. Okay. Today is the day, y'all. It's Saturday, April the 3rd. And it is 10, 12 a.m. Today is the grand opening. It starts at 3 p.m. So what I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for my makeup artist to get here. She actually is coming to me and she about to do my makeup. Once she do my makeup, I gotta head to Walgreens to pick up this picture that I had printed out of my mom and dad. Cause of course, I want them to there with me. So RIP mommy, RIP daddy, but y'all coming too. Like, what y'all thought? So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna pick up that picture and then I'm gonna head up to the shop because um, I have to mop. I wanna do a mop through one, one last time before everybody starts coming in. And um, what else? So yeah, so uh, my aunt right now, she running crazy. Um, I love her so much because oh, she a lifesaver. I called her yesterday and as soon as she answered the phone, she was like, what you want? Cause I already know you need something. I was like, you right auntie, I need you to I need you to help me out. I'm running crazy. I need somebody to help get the food. She was like, you know what? Just cash out me. Don't worry about nothing else. And we're gonna make it happen. So she's coming through. She's setting up. She cooking it. All the little herbs. She cooking it. She serving it. All that. So she a lifesaver. I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, so we're gonna do it really, really cute, y'all. I'm so excited. So um, I'm gonna just bring y'all with me this whole day. Um, my sister probably gonna be recording because as you know, the boss is gonna be tied up. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this plan, but yeah. I wanna say thank all y'all for y'all support and y'all love throughout this whole process. It's been amazing. I received love from people that I didn't even know was watching me like, and, and that means so much to me. It just keeps me going because along with all that love, I received so much, you know, bullshit from family friends just you know people well not really my friends but you know family just people that's not genuinely happy for me and it makes you you know sad but at the same time it is what it is god will show you people's true colors so remember that um yeah i had got it in this whole little speech process that i was like i'm gonna say this speech um but i don't know really what i'm gonna say i just really want to show people and tell people that you can follow your dreams. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter where you've been through. It don't matter where you're at now. It don't matter. None of that matters. All you have to do is, if you can see it, you can do it. All you have to do is believe in God and trust the process and it, it'll work itself out. So, yeah, I'm bringing y'all with me the whole day so that y'all can see the process of actually getting ready for the actual grand opening. Because I know I, I did a video. I don't know if I'm going to put like everything into one video or if I'm gonna do the actual like preparing for the grand opening and the grand opening video separate. 
I haven't decided because I don't want the video to be too too long. But I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out when I go to editing. But um, what else? Yeah. So my life. I'll see you guys in a minute. Um, I'll see you guys when I'm done getting my makeup done. I'll come back to see you guys. Record. Hey, record. Hey everybody. Just want to let y'all know that it's about to go down. Huh. What y'all got to say? Y'all got something y'all want to say? What's up? Um, on my head, my best friend shit. She been to open the shop. Y'all hoes need to bring y'all ass down. How do y'all got y'all taxes? Y'all still need to bring y'all ass down here. Buy y'all some clothes and shit. Brad! 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 Hey guys, my name is Presley. I am Jessica's best friend of more than 20 years now. And I just want to say, Jessica, congratulations. Girl, you did it, I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait for you to open up your second, third, fourth, and sixth. Your franchise, boo, I love you. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anybody else? Yes. It's my friend's grand opening. I'm so happy for you. You did it, boo. And one thing, one thing about you, you everything you put your mind to, you do it, you conquer it. You came from nothing, from nothing, from the bottom up. So proud of you. Oh, congratulations, sister. I am so proud of you. Coming from your big sister, I am your number one supporter, baby. I am so proud of you, Lord. Oh, this camera's everywhere. Don't cry. Oh, not, not you. I love you, girl. Hold on. This is her biggest sister. Yeah, I never did that. I'm 21, baby. Alma, what you got to say? What you got to say, Alma? You know. It's been many days. I watch you talk about this day. It's here now. So I, I'm going to say to you, as one of your bigger sisters, not the oldest one, because she's bigger than me, but as one of your bigger sisters, I look up to you. And that is an accomplishment that you have made and use motivation. I'm very proud of you. And it's up. And it's up. Look at mom. Okay. Do this. I've been grinding. I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much for coming out today. This means so much to me. Because if you know, then you know how hard I've been grinding for this day. And I just want to tell any and everybody out there that if you have a dream, don't chase that dream, chase God. Because when you chase God, he's going to give you everything that you ever desire in your heart. I wasn't even looking for no shop. I wasn't. I actually wrote a list on December 21st. And I told myself that I was going to accomplish all the things that I wrote on this list. And I heard God telling me to put open up a boutique. But me being me, I'm like, I'm not ready for that. But I still did it. And it was actually the first thing that I accomplished in 2021 out of all the things that I wrote on my list. And I did so by just trusting God and being obedient. So this is for my mama and my daddy and everybody who said that their kids couldn't do it because of what we've been through. But I'm telling you, we're going to do it and it's so much more to come. 365 days ago, I was homeless sleeping on somebody's floor on the air mattress with them. But today is day 366, and Pretty Labels is officially opening. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Young money raised me. Hey, Brad. Good. Tanisha cry. Love. Name but love. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this man right here. Yeah, we go way back. And this girl right here. What's up? Tell them how y'all took my daddy flow when my daddy died for three days straight because I was Number scared to go home. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> they slept on my daddy couch for three days straight because I was scared to go home and they didn't want to leave me. Oh and I had just met them three months prior. <laughs> Talk about loyalty. Yeah, yeah, they used to be not at too, but they would not leave me. Oh, I, 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 I can't believe it was eight years ago. <laughs> With a little shit, they had no comfort. All they had was a little white sheet. They shared it. Lucy, hey cousin. My cousin home. She came all the way down here from Savannah. My cousin in the army, y'all. 
My sister back there, she, she, she big and pregnant when she getting drinks together. My aunties, Auntie Janet, Auntie Gloria, they can. Let me tell you, I called my auntie yesterday morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. She said, What you want? I said, Auntie, I need you to be in charge of school. She said, Say no more. She got it all together in less than 24 hours. My sister. I was so scared, y'all, this morning. I called, my sister called me, but she gave me a little prep salt. Pelts, what happened to salt? Prep salt, yeah, I said it right. And we got it together. That's <laughs> why. Okay, um, this is from Kia. She bought me a bottle of Bel Air. Oh, I don't got to go to the liquor store for the day last night. I'm thinking all my bottles will be period. Oh, shit. Not if you don't break it first. This is, I think it's from Kadesha. Yeah. Ooh. Some type of rose. Y'all don't even know what type of bottles tonight. Y'all Ooh. Ooh, this shit smells so good. Put this up there. I'm leaving this here. That's gonna smell so good. Thank you, Kadesha. Who is this from? Where comes the still row? I don't know who this is from, but thank you. Know. Brad. No, Brad bought me. You he got you. you a Brad bought me oh. roses. I don't think they roses. Too. They flowers, but they real. Keep them clean up. Put this on water, though. Mm -hmm. Who this from? I think this from Brad. He said, boss lady, dream did did it. And he said, and whatever the next, it may be, you've got what it takes for that too. So proud of you. Keep God first. This is just the beginning. Yeah, forever love, Brad. Yeah, for that one with the, with the roses. Thank you, Brad. You're so cute. And then Kadesha put a card with her wine, I mean, her rose. It said, Congratulations to you. So happy for you. You've worked so hard and accomplished so much, and you deserve all the happiness and success that comes your way. Congratulations, you have a lot to celebrate. And then she said, congrats, you deserve a love station. Thank you, Daisha. Let's see what my gift is talking about. Me. The grand opening was a success. It was amazing. It was so beautiful. It was so like, it was a vibe. Like, it was amazing. It was everything that I that I prayed for and that I was hoping for. It was just, it was an amazing night. It was an amazing day. Um, today is Tuesday. So it's my official kind of first day open, I guess you can say. Um, outside of um, me having the grand opening. So I'm very, very excited for today. And um, I, I've had a few shipments come in, like maybe like two or three shipments come in um, so far. It was like broken up into my, I had like, I placed like four orders and it was all broken up to it. So I have like 20 orders coming in, it's so crazy. But it's cool, we gonna do it. We gonna, as they come in, we gonna put it up. Um, I had the grand opening, although a lot of my stuff did not come in, I still went ahead and had the grand opening cause I didn't wanna, you know, backtrack and then, you know, get into the spirit of, oh, this thing happens, so I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't do that. I did it anyways. 
so it was a success it was very nice what i did have um it sold i probably made i think um like 600 and something dollars that day um which was very good considering the fact that you know i didn't have a lot of stuff so um the jury is my main sellers you know what i'm saying those are my main sellers so, um, so i'm here and i got a couple of outfits here that i'm about to tag up and hang up but i kind of want to just check in, in with you guys and kind of just tell you guys that it was it's over like it's here we opened up do y'all see the transformation in the background like versus from the beginning of the video to the end of the video it's crazy what you know we did it we made it happen and i'm so excited I still have a couple of things coming in, like, um, so I have these cute little watch. shirts. These are so right. cute, y'all. It says she's got mad hustle and adult. So I actually had on one yesterday, and I had went to um, FedEx, and this lady was just like, oh, my God, I love that shirt. And I was like, girl, come shop with me. I got up in the south. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gave her my business card, which is kind of, you know. Like, hey, I got a move so bitch. <laughs> the house is officially open for business. So if you're in um, like the Northern Florida area, stop in, come see me. Your girl will be here. Um, I'm in the midst of hiring some people right now. So sometimes I won't be here, but for the most part, I would definitely be here. Even if I have somebody else working, I would still be here. So this is my baby. This is my baby. This is like my love my little princess you know what i'm saying so i gotta be here but yeah i'm here your girl is officially open for business it is going up you can... so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was a motivation to somebody out there in the world that's doing something right now and you may be feeling down you may be feeling like oh um, i don't know what my next um move is i don't know what to do next i don't know i'm not selling stuff so the stuff is not going right um this person is making all this money they sell them the same thing that i'm selling and i'm not <clears throat> let me tell you something i don't care if such and such no, making fifty thousand dollars an hour off of the same thing that you're selling and you're making zero dollars in 30 days don't give up. It's the reason why you're not making no money. Maybe you're not marketing right. Maybe you're not branding right. Maybe your products aren't, you're not putting yourself out there. Maybe you're marketing to the wrong audience. Maybe you don't know exactly um, what it is that you should be promoting the most, okay? So now you need to look into different things, different ways, different options. But don't give up, because giving up, ain't, that ain't gonna solve because I'm pretty sure you can't way farther than where you started from. I started out, and I put this post on it, it's really, really crazy. I started out, I started pretty labels. This right here, what I'm in right now. I started pretty labels with 50 pairs of meat lashes. They were in just a clear little case. They didn't say pretty labels. Nobody, if somebody would have found on the street, they wouldn't know where it came from. Nothing. They didn't have no names. It was just it was just mink lashes 50 pair and i had them in a bag like literally in a bag i would walk around with this bag and people would call me like hey i need lashes or they write me on social media um do you have lashes on yeah i can meet you or yeah they come pick it up and i would sell them these lashes for ten dollars so look how far i have come off of 50 pair of lashes did i give up yes i did but that's why i'm here to tell you don't give up because when I gave up it was 10 times harder to get it back and to get it going than it would have been if I just stayed down and, and went all over. but I did stay down I did come back I did pray about it and I the more I call God the more I chase God that dream that I was chasing it became just something that was given to me so that's what I mean that's the notification I hope you know what I'm saying? So, when it's for you, it's for you. You don't have to just be, oh, da da da, da da da, buy from me, buy from me. You promote your business, you market your business. As long as you're doing it to the correct audience, everything else will move and fall into place. So, I'm very excited for what's to come. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and this stuff up. 
yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share it with your friends. All of my business entrepreneurs, y'all time coming, everybody time coming. We're going to make it. This is the year. This is the year right now. So, peace, love, and a lot of blessings. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much.